Hello students, in this video, let us understand how to calculate opening stock and closing stock by using stock turnover ratio. So here in this problem they have given the stock turnover, total sales, gross profit 25% of sales and they have stated that the closing stock value was more by 4000 than opening stock. Andre, Closing stock value A is closing stock value 4000 rupees opening stock in the just the head is there. So by using this stock turnover ratio we are supposed to calculate opening stock and closing stock which is very much important for 6 marks. So now the stock turnover ratio is equal to cost of goods sold divided by average stock. So we need to find out cost of goods sold and average stock. So cost of goods sold can be calculated by deducting gross profit from the sales. So now the working let us make a working note. The first working note will be cost of goods sold that is sales minus gross profit. Sales they have given 2 lakh rupees and they have stated that gross profit is 25% of sales. So 2 lakh minus 25% into 2 lakh will be 50,000. Therefore, cost of goods sold is equal to rupees 1 lakh 50,000. And they have stated that closing stock value was more by 4,000 than the opening stock. Therefore, let us write opening stock as X. So if opening stock is X means then closing stock will be X plus 4000 because they have stated that closing stock value will be 4000 more than the opening stock. So here the X representing opening stock and if X is representing opening stock then the closing stock will be 4000 more than the opening stock therefore X plus 4000. So now let us substitute this information into the formula. Cost of goods sold we have obtained is rupees 1 lakh 50,000 divided by average stock is equal to opening stock plus closing stock divided by 2. Here opening stock is x, closing stock is x plus 4000. So opening stock x plus closing stock is x plus 4000 divided by 2. So here we know what is the stock turnover ratio. They have given that 5 times. So let us write 5 here. So now let us simplify this. 1,50,000 into 2. As per the mathematical rule, this division will become multiplication when it comes to numerator. So 1,50,000 into 2 divided by x plus x will become 2x plus 4000 so now let us make a cross multiplication it will become 5 into 2x plus 4000 here nothing is given means it is representing 1 so we are supposed to make a cross multiplication so it will become 5 into 2x plus 4000 is equal to 1 lakh 50,000 into 2. So now 5 into 2x it will become 10x plus 5 into 4000 it will become 20,000 is equal to 150,000 into 2 it will become 3 lakh. So now let us bring the common factor into one side. So here 10x will remains here this 20,000 will comes to right hand side. Here this 20,000 is representing positive. If we bring this 20,000 to right hand side, it will become negative. So 3 lakh minus 20,000. So now 10x is equal to 3 lakh minus 20,000. It will be 2 lakh 80,000. Therefore, x is equal to 2,80,000 divided by 10. x is equal to 28,000. Here x is representing opening stock. Therefore, the value of the opening stock is 20. 
8000 if the value of opening stock is 28000 then the closing stock value will be x plus 4000 we know the value of x that is 28000 plus 4000 it will be 32000 therefore the value of the opening stock is 28000 and value of the closing stock is 32000 as they have stated in the problem that closing stock is 4000 more than the opening stock as here we, you can compare the opening stock is 28000 closing stock is 32000 it is more 4000 more than the opening stock thank you students